Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. So before we get started with this video, I just wanna say if you're new to my channel and you're looking towards going to ASU or you are looking just at a orientation for any college, hopefully this helps. This is just a run through of what I did. This has the vlogs and a couple tips kind of telling you guys what to expect when you're going to orientation, but I'm super excited to be going there next year in the fall. I don't know, I figured I'd put this series out and maybe it'll help you guys. If it does, don't forget to give this video a like, a comment, subscribe, and if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. I have Snapchat, I have two Instagram accounts, and if anyone's gonna be a future Sun Devil, then forks up and I hope to see you guys there. So I'm gonna start with the vlog footage. You guys can watch that, you guys can skip through. And then afterwards, I'm gonna do a play-by-play -play of everything that happened, if I have any tips to put in, and then just like kind of go over how orientation went. You guys can see the vlog footage, but then there's also going to be this footage of me just talking and telling you about it. morning guys so I am headed to my ASU orientation I'm super excited because number one that means that I'm gonna be closer to going to ASU officially and like having my classes and number two like I'm just excited to like meet people that I've been talking to on the app called devil to devil I'm kind of running late right now I'm like two minutes away and I need to be there like in two minutes so let's just keep our fingers crossed that I make it in time I'm gonna like try to vlog as much as I can. I'll fill you guys in. Okay, so I'm out of the car and now we're headed there. finished like the beginning part when you're in one of the rooms and like basically what they do is like you sign up for your ID and like you take your picture if you haven't already submitted it and now we're like walking to this other thing I'm not 100% sure what it is yet but we'll find out We are currently walking to the place where we register. So like basically what happened was we got like a talk about what classes we were supposed to have. They handed us a folder and yeah, so now we're going to the registration area. in this little room and they handed us like a folder looks like this 
It's from the, this one's for the College of Health Solutions. And I logged in. It has all your stuff in it. I'm not going to show you guys my personal stuff, but um, you pick your schedule and classes and they give you a major map. So that's what we're working on right now. So we chose our schedules and it's really loud. But I chose a schedule that's no class on Fridays and then Wednesdays I only have one class and it's early in the morning. So that's going to be really great. Uh, Okay guys, so we just finished lunch and then now we are headed to, I don't even know what we're headed to actually. Wait, what are we headed to? Um, more presentations. It's like another presentation and then I think this like covers something with like financials and like other stuff like that. Before we get this thing started, Grace, let's go to our first question. Where can you access your ASU email? I need someone to go get this question. Hunter, <laughs> Here, check all, make sure all this information is correct. Okay, yeah. All right, so we're gonna sign and date here saying that that's your social security. Yeah. Um, let me double check that. So, um, they got my social security number wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> so this is a little model of what my room's gonna look like, kind of. And she's gonna be in one of them. Just double check, yeah. So, since I'm like walking over to Taylor Place, I'm gonna give you guys a little recap of everything that happened. So, just now, we went and got our ID cards, and like you either can get the basic Sun Devil card or you can get the credit card and I got the one that's like a credit card. Okay, so we are currently walking to Tower 2. So like you can do an orientation when you're here. I've already done one, so like I already know what it looks like, but I think it's cool that all the rooms are themed here. But yeah, this is floor three. I don't think it does come with one. No. No. Oh, I love the AC. There's an iron board in here too, no iron at all. But there's an iron board. There's no charge, just obviously get your shit done and uh, clean your clean the lint, lint screens and the dryers. It still has like a ton of equipment. It's awesome. No, so this is like what it looks like. I'm not gonna get anyone in it. But do you approve? I do approve. <laughs> yeah, and it has like TVs and like equipment. I'm not gonna get anyone's faces in it. So yeah, it just looks really good. It looks cool and stuff. But it's 24 hours. Okay guys, so I'm actually headed to go to dinner with everyone from the ASU um, orientation stuff today. I think some actually came into town, they have orientation tomorrow. But if you're not part of like a group me or a, some type of group chat for ASU, make sure you are and then also see if anyone's planned anything. Ask around because chances are they are and they'll definitely invite you. 
So I'm headed over to that. I'm very excited. It's going to be very fun. Okay guys, so we are actually at dinner right now and and how are we having a good time? Tell I'm them. I'm having a delightful time except I forgot to order a meatball, so I'm like kind of butthurt, but it's okay. She's gonna order a meatball, guys. <laughs> um, and then my future roommate's right here with a mouthful of food. I hope everyone, <laughs> let's just zoom in on her mouth. <laughs> just kidding, I won't, I promise you I won't. I just, oh, that was such a cute bird. <laughs> And then we got Becca. And then we got that loser. Yeah, yeah, you can look down. You can say hi. No. Don't be a Don't be a butthole. Be nice. Good. And then we're here with Caitlin and Alex and Emily, Michaela. And she just got off the plane. And then we're here with Lexi. That's Lexi. And then we're here with Molly. It's okay though. It's on the way, I hope. Well, I'm about to dig into this. And then also. I'm gonna be drinking my Minotaur, guys. So the first thing you do at orientation is you go and get into this line and you pick up your badge. This badge is what lets you go to the events at orientation. They give you a little sticker thing and it just tells you like your first and last name and the college that you're part of, that's part of like ASU because they have different ones for like different majors. And then they also give you a Sun Devil Proud t-shirt right here. They're always usually gold. Like I went to another event with them and I have an entire series. If you guys are curious, don't forget to go watch the series. But um, I have more to explore event. So that has like dormspiration, like staying there overnight. And like I have two videos up already. So if you guys are curious and want to go watch them, definitely go do that. Then they also give you a 2017 new student orientation packet booklet that looks like this. But this entire booklet comes with stuff that you are gonna wanna like look over later on. The first thing that you do is you get in the line, you're done, you go either take your picture or show them your ID for you, like your valid state identification so that then they can make sure that you are actually who you say you are and you take your like basic Sun Devil card or your Mid First Bank card. So after you take your photo or show that you already have yours submitted, then what you do is go downstairs and just hand them the paperwork and then head to the university welcome. That is just a big building. They talk for a while, tell you about university. It's pretty interesting. Like they just, you know, repeatedly like tell you things about ASU. A lot of people come with their parents, but a lot of people don't as well. So like if you're debating, if your parents really want to go, let them go because it's not gonna make you look uncool, but if you don't want them to go or they don't wanna go, it's not a big deal. I didn't go with mine, so, you know, it also costs an extra like $75, I think, for each person to go, so if you're trying to save money, just don't, don't, let, don't make them go. But then the next thing that they do is after they do that, they call each college individually, so like they have different colleges for like nursing is an example, and they'll call it out and they'll say like College of Nursing, and then the group gets up and they go with that college. So. We went with our colleges and they go to a different college welcome. So they have colleges within this university and you go there, they do their spiel, which is a little bit different because they kind of tell you like how many credit hours you need, um, who the academic advisors are for you, like who matches up with their major. And they just let you get to know the people that are in your college and the people that are like the dean or anything like that. You go and do your academic advising and you meet your academic advisor and you have class registration. Like I was honestly, I think the morning is like the most important and vital part. I think going to the entire orientation is key, but I think that this is the most exciting part. So they give you a folder. This one's my college and they have all my information in here. It has my ACT, SAT, um, student groups, like anything in here that is information about me. They have my GPA, my ASU scores, but then in this folder, they give you amount of recommended courses for your major. When you do that, they, you look at that and then they take you to a room with computers. And this is personally what happened at my orientation. I know that this is what happened at the other ones too. But in this folder, they give you recommended courses and the big goal with it is to make your schedule that day. So they have you sign into your MyASU, so make sure that you can sign into yours. And then they have you add and drop classes, put it in, figure out what your schedule is going to be. So personally for me, my schedule is super great. I have class at nine every single day, Monday through Thursday. I have three lectures on Monday with like a gap for like three hours in between um, my first lecture and my second one. So I, I'll go to the gym or I'll eat or like I'll do something on Mondays. It'll kind of like ease me into the week. And then I have, I'm going to pull it up actually. Days, I have a lecture at 10 
and then I have a lecture lab at 12 then after that I have a lecture again then on Wednesdays I have a class at 9 that's the only class I have on Wednesdays Thursdays I have a class that starts at 10 and it's like the same thing that Tuesday and Thursday are like the same thing and it's just super great like on my schedule I don't have any classes on Fridays which means that Fridays are like a really good day for me Saturday and Sunday are like gonna be my like free days that I'll do like my homework I'll get my YouTube stuff done and I just can do things that I thoroughly enjoy and I like that and they said that that was like an option for my schedule so I chose it so then after you choose your schedule you go to lunch and lunch is actually in the dining hall unless you're part of Barrett anyone who's part of Barrett you're like in your own area to eat it's like probably nicer food I'm guessing because they really they try to like put it on for you um at lunch I actually ended up finding my roommate I am so excited because my roommate and I were just sitting across from each other eating in the dining hall I had not really talked to her the entire day and I was like hey like where are you staying we realized we were staying like four doors away from each other and neither of us had roommates then they go into the afternoon you go back to the room that you started your university welcome in they do a like quiz bowl thing if you ever had one of those when you're younger it's like questions and then they throw t-shirts at you if you get them right I thought it was like it was cool it was interesting um that's called the tech devil toss-up they have live like a sun devil and then they have the managing your finances this one is actually really important if you're like not sure about dates for like payments and stuff that's a good one to pay attention to because they talk about like how you're gonna pay for college like just things that you need to know um, about your finances tab and I learned a lot in that one that's also still in the same room then they have strategies for success this is actually put on by like people that are already that are students at ASU so you go into a room they talk they tell you things they say things that maybe you wouldn't hear from like anyone that's like working at ASU technically because they'll tell you like it is so then after that they have the university information fair and they also have the ID card distribution so earlier you took your ID photo you go out there you pick up your card so I ended up getting this bottle and it's just this and it has ASU on it it's really cute and then they also give you your ASU basics on double card and your mid first bank ones but I actually ended up getting a mid first bank one just as like precaution and then after you pick up your ID card they have a little like table set up everywhere so you can kind of go and talk you can find things out they also hand out floor plans for like university housing they hand out like the dining locations they also handed me this cute coloring book which I'm actually gonna give to my friend and then I also got this cute little tattoo yeah like it was really simple it was a nice orientation after that you can go on a tour of your dorm you can go into university housing like in that dorm and you can ask them to show you certain things like you can ask them to show you if they have a fitness room in there and actually we went and did that because I didn't even know that Taylor place dorms had a fitness center so if anyone is curious you can go and get a tour they have those afterwards they have a couple different ones scheduled but then you can also ask to just see one so after orientation um the people that i was meeting along the way because there were like some groups and then i also ran into people when i was standing in line for things we ended up already having a dinner planned that night we hadn't ever met like i had not met anyone before that day so we had already had a dinner planned we went to the dinner and you guys saw the clips also from that and Bridget and I ended up going back to my house because she's not she doesn't live in Arizona like I do and she became my roommate she switched into my room and I'm very very excited I'm just so excited like this is gonna be so great so if you guys are gonna be a future Sun Devil like me let's do some forks up I don't know which way to turn it but uh, forks up guys and I hope to see you guys in the fall I had toured a few different colleges and I decided on ASU because it seemed like the right fit for me and I'm just really happy I did because I've already made a few really good friends some are not on the same campus as me but that's okay because they have shuttles if there's any videos that you guys want to see please let me know in the comments down below because I'm thinking about doing like dorm tours and things like that but I just haven't done it yet because I'm not living there yet if you guys have any specific videos if you guys want to leave any comments down below about your experience at orientation or tips to give people if you are already in college then feel free to do that if you guys have any questions or you guys want to reach out to me you guys can follow me on my social media I have my snapchat where you guys can see my college life when I do get there and you guys can also follow me on my Instagram accounts I post all the time on all of those things and you guys can just reach out to me so I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video